So let's talk about the idea of dosage compensation in Drosophila. So dosage compensation is a really important phenomenon that happens in many species, right? It happens in humans, us, it happens in Drosophila, it happens in nematodes, C. elegans, so all those species, but we're going to stick to Drosophila in this video. So the idea of dosage compensation is simple, whether it's humans, whether it's Drosophila or C. elegans, it's the same idea. What we're doing is that we are controlling the expression of X chromosome, the genes on X chromosome, either on males or females. So in Drosophila, um, we have the same idea as humans, as us. We have two X chromosomes for females and we have only one X chromosome for males. Even though in males, in humans, we have XY chromosomes, but over here we have XO chromosomes, right? And this idea is same, but the difference lies in the mechanism itself and also the idea that in Drosophila, the males are the default sex instead of females. So in humans, we have females as the default sex, but over here in Drosophila, we have males as the default sex. So that's a really important distinction between Drosophila and humans. And so moving on with the mechanism itself, although dosage compensation is really kind of, it's really related to the idea of, or the mechanism of sex determination, but we are not going to talk about sex determination in this video. We're going to only talk about dosage compensation in this video. So, and you'll see the differences later. So starting with the, with females, let's talk about the mechanism. So in females, uh, we have two X chromosomes. So this causes more expression of this gene called XXL gene, which we call sex lethal gene. And since there's more expression of XXL gene, we produce XXL protein or the sex lethal protein. So as a result of that, what this protein does is that it acts as a transcription factor for downstream genes. So the genes that are next in order, right? So these genes are expressed in order. That's really important. And so sex lethal protein will act as a transcription factor for TRA gene, right? So this is the next gene in order and it will induce the expression of the TRA gene causing the production of TRA protein. So this protein here, is, this is really important because this controls the expression of the next downstream gene, which is called the DSX gene or double sex gene. And TRA2, regardless of XXL, it is still expressed, right? It's still there. So we are producing TRA and TRA2, these two proteins. But TRA is more important because it actually induces the expression of DSX gene or double sex gene by acting as a transcription factor. So over here we had T we have we had sex lethal as a transcription factor and we had TRA also as a transcription factor. So these two are transcription factors. And so this is the last gene in order for our mechanism. This is actually the last gene in the sex determination, which we're going to cover in the next video or in another video. And then this is the last gene that's expressed and that results in the sexual determination of females. And now on this side, what XXL protein does is that even though it will act as a positive transcription factor on TRA gene, so it will induce the expression or cause the expression of TRA gene, right? So it's a positive mediator there. But over here for MSL2, it's a negative mediator. It's the opposite, right? So XXL protein will bind to MSL2 uh, gene and it will repress its expression. So we, will, we won't have any production of MSL2 protein. So there is no MSL2 protein over here. And that's why we don't have any dosage compensation in females. Now over here in males, we have a different scenario. What we have is that we don't have any expression of XXL gene. And I'll explain this in the sex determination video, right? There's a gene called sisterless gene. And in males, we have a sort of a different protein product from sisterless genes in males. So because of that, we don't produce any XXL.
protein or sex lethal protein. We don't have any of that in males, unlike females where we had a sex lethal protein uh, produced. So because of that, since we don't have any XXL or sex lethal protein, we won't have any expression of TRA gene. And we won't have any, ex there is no TRA protein as a result. And because of that, there is, I, I haven't even shown DSX protein over here because, oh sorry, DSX gene, double sex gene, because since we don't have any TRA protein, we don't induce the expression of DSX or double sex gene in males. And that's what actually causes the sexual differentiation of males that produces males. But since we talked about here, sex lethal gene does not control the expression of TRA2 gene, in males, we still have the production of TRA2 protein. So it still has a function. It helps in the dif sexual dif differentiation of males. But that's it, right? It's, it, it doesn't play any role in the expression of double sex gene. Only TRA does. And we don't have any TRA over here, right? So, so this is the important part, right? Since we don't have any sex lethal protein produced in males, we will have the expression of MSL2. And this MSL2, let me write over here. So this MSL2 is called male specific lethal protein or complex. So we call it male specific lethal complex and this actually acts as an epigenetic modifier of the dosage compensation of this X chromosome. So if you are not sure what epigenetic modifier means, I'll explain that in the next video in a detailed mechanism of how MSL2 complex works. But for now, what MSL2 complex will do is that it will cause dosage compensation in males. So it will increase the expression, gene expression by two times twice of this X chromosome to match these two X chromosomes in females. So that's the whole idea. So we have this, I've shown this big X chromosome in, uh, in males to match the total transcription of genes or total gene expression in the two female X chromosomes. So that's how dosage compensation mechanism works in a, in a broad overview. So we'll go into the detail of how MSL2 act as a complex works and how it induces the, the dosage compensation on this X chromosome in males in the next video. I hope this was helpful.